Okay, so I actually have a degree in psychology, which is entirely basically learning theory and how the brain works. And then I have a master's degree in applied animal behavior and welfare, where I also studied learning theory and I did used to teach this. So you would hope I would know what I'm on about. So we'll go through the four quadrants and I'll explain what I'm on about. So if you are reinforcing a behavior, you want that behavior to increase. So when we're teaching a puppy to sit, we give them a treat afterwards. That is positive reinforcement. Positive purely means the addition of, it does not mean something nice. And that's where people get this wrong all the time. So if it's positive, it is the addition of something to make the behavior increase again in the future. This is probably gonna be back to front, so I'll show you at the end. So that would be addition of a treat, when a dog does a sit, the dog is going to be more likely to sit again in the future. If we are doing negative reinforcement, which is what you're getting confused with, the negative still means removal of. So if we are reinforcing something, we're still increasing the likelihood that that behavior happens again. So in negative reinforcement, we are taking something away and making the dog more likely to do something. Let's use the sit example again. So if you push the dog's bottom, the removal of the hand when their bum hits the floor is why we make that behavior increase again in the future, the removal of pressure. I'll pause and come back to you when I've written it down. Negative punishment is therefore decreasing the behavior by removing something. So if we use a human example, if you take away a child's iPhone when they've come home from school late, removal of something to decrease the behavior which leaves us with only positive punishment yet left. And that's where people get confused because they hear the word positive and they assume that it means that it's something nice, but it's not. It is the addition of something to decrease the likelihood of that dog doing that behavior again. Typical puppy example that people still hear is to roll up a newspaper and hit the puppy on the nose. It's the addition of the smack to decrease the likelihood of the puppy having an accident in the house again. Positive punishment is the most dangerous one for people who do not know what they are doing to use because if they get it wrong, they can apply too much force, they can really hurt a dog, and ultimately you can damage your bond with your dog. So positive punishment is what people should avoid where possible. So let's turn this round so you can see it all and recap a little bit. Okay, so positive reinforcement the addition of something to increase a behavior add a treat after the dog has done it the dog is more likely to sit in the future negative reinforcement the removal of something but we're still getting the behavior to improve again in the future so we're removing pressure so a lot of horse riding stuff comes under this category negative reinforcement negative punishment is when we remove something to stop the dog from doing it again in the future so you might remove food if you're using food deprivation let's hope people aren't Positive punishment, the addition of something nasty, usually to stop a dog from doing